on your cell phone, in your car, we are hoping that the words that have been spoken to you have an impact in your life. For God told us to go into all the world and preach this gospel to every preacher. He that believe, he that believe shall be saved. He that believe that shall be dead. Somebody say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. We are praying that the messages that God gave us to preach to you, bringing healing yes. and deliverance yes. to yes. you. So we are undertaking a few projects in the church, in the faith, in the church of God in Christ. We are asking you to partner with us. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. We are asking you for the first time, and this is not going to be the last time, that you will partner with us. Amen? Amen. Partner with us and be a sustainers. A God program and God projects in this faith healing church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes. You know our number on the television screen 419-216-0388. You can call us with your information. You know our address 1558 Campbell Street, Toledo, Ohio. 43607. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 43607 419 419 216 0388. That is our phone number. Call us. Call us 24 hours. 419 216 0388. 0388. Somebody say the praise the Lord. The number again is 419-214-0388. And our address is 1558 Campbell Street, Toledo, Ohio, 43607. Send your contribution for the projects that we are undertaking. Amen. And that will continue to be on the air. Send your, your, yes, yes, and God will bless you. God will bless you, amen. amen. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise Let's go into our message. We're going to have quite a few scriptures yes. read to you. If you don't mind, take your Bible. Those of you that have your Bible, get your Bible. We want to take you to a place that you've never been before. Somebody say praise the Lord. Lord. We want to take you to, to a place. Sometimes we read the Bible, but we are not inclined to the understanding of what we are reading. Is that right? Yeah. My people perish because of a lack of knowledge. Some of, some of us are living under our privilege. Is that right? Uh -huh. The blessing can be all around you, but if you don't know how to accept the blessing, yeah. it can pass by you. Uh -huh. Is that right? You have to have the information, the information that will lead you to the blessing. Yeah. And when you get hold of the information, you apply that information in your life. Uh -huh. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. So we are, we're going to be passing some information to you that you will be able to recover some of the blessings that, that you have missed in your past. Amen? Amen. We're going to start with Ecclesiastes chapter 5. Uh, take on your Bible. Get your Bible. We're going to study today. Yes. If we may not shout today, but we'll, we'll love for you to get hold of this information. Others have applied it in their lives and they have become wealthy. Is that right? It, it, the scripture says, listen to this. The scripture says, it is God delighted in the prosperity of his people. He delighted in delighted in the delight in the prosperity of his servant. Amen. And the Bible says, 
Job, I think tell the sixty eleven and say, his mind going to if they be obedient and serving, they will spend their days in pleasure and their years in prosperity. That these are God's words. Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It, 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 it will not serve my parishioner right. Now, thank God for this ministry. It will not serve me right that I ride a good looking car and my parishioner not riding nothing. You understand? Thank God in a few years that we have been in this ministry, everyone that comes around us prosper. Everyone that comes around us bless and get healed and deliver. Because the anointing God placed upon my life is not for me personally, it's for the sheep. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. The anointing is for God's people. He strategically planted us in a place to be a blessing. To be a healer, to be a deliverer. So, somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, neighbor, God bless you to be a blessing to others. It's not about me. This thing is bigger than me. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. So, with the information that God has blessed us with, we want to pass some of the information to you for blessings to come. In your life. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, we will start with verse 4. Verse 4 say what? When thou vow a vow unto God, defer not to pay. Is that right? Amen. When you make a vow to God, do not refuse to pay it. For he had no pleasure in food. Pay thou which thou hast vowed. Don't make promise to God that you pull back. You make promise to God, keep that promise. Because God Himself is why He's a promise keeper. He's a covenant keeper. Is that right? Nobody force you to make any promise to God. Ah, does that make sense? Say neighbor, nobody force you. To make a vow to God. Be careful what you promise to do. Or what you promise to come on now. To contribute to God's program. No one put gun onto your head. It, 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 is, it is all of your goodwill. Because God has been good to us. He has been good to you. Is that right? Don't just come running your mouth before him. And you have nothing to bite it out. Mmm. Ooh, somebody said, praise, praise the Lord. When thou vows a vow unto God, defer not to pay thee, for he has no pleasure in food. Pay thou which thou hast what? Vow. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. The fifth verse says, better is it that thou should not vow, than thou should vow and thou art paid. It is better for you just to shut your mouth, don't make no promise to him. Then you make the promise and you can't fulfill the promise. Amen. Be not deceived, but God is not mocked. Amen. What a man saw, <laughs> that what he shall read. Is that a scripture? Is that the Bible? You can't make promise to your wife and don't meet that promise. How will she respect you? You don't make promise to your loved one, your husband, and you don't fulfill it. Then how will he respect you? Somebody shall say hallelujah. So God is no exception. What goes around does what? Oh, be not deceived, but God is not mad. What I'm thinking you saw, but what a man saw, that what he what? Shall reap. Somebody shall say hallelujah. This the six verses, suffer not thou mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither said thou before the angel that it was an error. Think it through before you make that promise. Think it through. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hand? Make false promise to God and don't fulfill it. Ah, is that right? For in the multitude of dreams, in many words, there are also diverse vanities. But fear thou God. In other words, 
don't make too much of publication, too much of talking before God, and then nothing to back it out. Before you make promises to God, have the fear of God in you. Because yes. you are not making it to man. Some have shall say, praise the Lord. God love a cheerful giver. You cheerfully made a promise to him. You cheerfully made a vow to him. You cheerfully put for the Lord, you've been so good to me. So I will do this to get your program off the ground. And then when time comes, you become like a quick set. Anybody, even me, if I find out that you made promises to me and I'm trying to stay on your promises, and when time comes for you to fulfill that promise and you become like a quick saint and you quit from honor me, yes. come on now. Nobody wants want to be sent in the ground. Because somebody has a lies and uh, somebody shall say, I'm blessed, I'm healed, and I'm delivered. Uh, know the truth and the truth what? We set you free. Oh, oh yes. Somebody shouts, now I'm taking to the real message. Verse 9. Verse 9 of the same chapter. 5. Somebody shouts, I'm blessed. I'm healed. I want to take my time and teach this lesson today. Moreover, the prophet, listen to this, this is powerful. Moreover, what? The, the prophet of the earth is what? All. Is for all. The king himself is what? Set by the field. The, oh my goodness. God gave you and I this earth to profit from it. Not just one person. The prophets, the benefit of this earth belong to us. What would I render unto the Lord for all of his benefit that he bestowed upon me? God gave you and I this earth, whether you are poor or rich, for us to benefit from this earth. That what he set everything in place before he made us. Is that right? God set everything. Genesis chapter 1, 2, go to 3. He set everything in place before He made you and I. That when we come into the earth, we'll have things to benefit from. Yes, Say, neighbor, neighbor, this earth this was given to you and I to benefit from it. God will not make any mouth that He will not feed. Every month that God made, you know how to feed it. But a lead will always have to profit from what he has given us. Uh, I'm taking you somewhere this. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. The king, even your leader, your leader himself profits from the field. He profits from the ground. We all have mouth to eat. We all have mouth to drink. We all have the desire to wear some good stuff. A desire to live in a, in a come on now, in a suitable place. Is that right? Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the feet. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Oh, the king. Someone please turn to Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. I'm taking you somewhere. Please, I tell you to take your Bible. We are still in today. Someone, Genesis chapter 2. Turn to it quick and read it for me. 2 verses 15 and 16. Who have it? Stand up and read it. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you have it? Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 and 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God took the man. And the Lord God did what? Took the man. He took the man. And put him into the garden. He Eden. put the man in the garden of Eden. To dress it and to keep it. Hold it right there. The earth is there for all to profit from it. Yeah. But if you cannot dress it and you don't know how to keep it, right. then you cannot profit from it. Right. Uh, who the Lord talking to here? Is that right? Yeah. And the Lord God took the man and he placed it.